Namaste, children. I'm sure you have done the meditation on water. You can repeat that meditation as much as you want. Every day also before going to sleep, you can do whichever meditation you like best. So I'm sure you have been drinking water by infusing love into that water. You can feel that love in your body, in every cell. And it reflects when you behave with others, react with others, interact with others. And so it will keep on improving your relationship with others. So now let us see. Uh, that was about water. Now we need to be having a firm uh, foundation. You know, we should be grounded. So what should we do about that? So for that, we have to think about the earth. Let us see today. So I will talk about the earth and you. If you look around, you know, even our body, everything you see around you, all the creation is comprised of a unique combination of the five great elements. Earth, water, fire, air, and either or space. So to be having a balanced thing, you know, they should be in proper proportion. And they are not in proper proportion. We, uh, It leads to diseases and you know, change in the mental sta status and all those things. And by the way, do you know that the sense of smell is associated with the earth element? You remember the first rain as the rainwater soaks the earth. What a smell it comes, you know. The earthy smell, it is so rejuvenating and so good for our health. So now we know that earth is one of the five elements which make up all the matter around us and us. So the earth represents the ground, the stability. And it is a foundation for life and for the structures of man and nature. We stand on earth. Our building stands on earth. All the trees are standing on the earth. So it is providing us the ground and stability and the foundation. Okay. Now it also lends structure. What about our body? The grounding and heaviness in our body. It is also related to growth and development of our tissues, muscles, bones, teeth and fats. So when the earth element is high in your body, it depends on so many factors. So this will be manifested as uh, physical manifestation, thicker skin, thick fingernails, and a heavy set body. How does it affect our life? So we will have a loss of interest in life and action. No, we are not ready to take any action. I was to change. The life is going on in this way. I'm happy with that. I don't want to bring any change in my life. There'll be dullness and a despair in your mental makeup. And also there'll be a tendency to overeat. When you are deficient in the earth element. So I talked about when it is more than what is needed. Now when it is deficient, what happens? It reflects as weak structures such as bones and teeth. You know, the bones are weak. Lower body fat and lower muscle mass. So... And then how is your behavior, behavior affected? Inability to take on challenges in life. You feel very unstable, insecure and restless and jittery and bad at managing stress. So what do we want? We want the earth element to be balanced. Then what happens? You feel stable, safe, grounded and unwavering. Okay. So generally, you will be at peace with life, with all its experiences. You know, every one of us have uh, experiences which are good and bad. So whether they're good or bad, you will be at peace with life and won't be impacted heavily by events. Okay. So you can have a normal life, not taken too much high or low with the types of events or experiences you are having in life. So how can we balance the earth element? Now we know that how is the status when it is high or low. We want it to be balanced. So what can Is there anything that we can do from our side? Yes, we can eat foods rich in earth element. Because food is the main source of how the earth element gets into you. So what are these foods? Eat earth rich foods. Those that grow under the earth like potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, beets and yams. And second is, 
gardening. It's a great way to connect to the earth. Okay, even if you're staying in an apartment in a high rise building, you can have one pot, one potted plant. What you see there are uh, grown on the pots in my house. So touching the soil, tending to it, nurturing the plants, they're an incredible life supporting way to balance the earth element in your body. So if you don't have a pot for yourself to look after, ask your parents to get one pot with any uh, sturdy plant, which is not very delicate so that you can take care of that and give it water every day, tend to it, loosen the soil. It's such a nice experience. You will enjoy when you see the plant growing and giving flowers. And our next is find more ways to connect with the earth element in nature, like climbing the mountains, standing on the beach barefoot, of course, or walking on the grass. This also will tend to balance the earth element in our body. Now, another one which is easy for you to do is earthing or grounding. So what do you have to do for this? You have to just stand or walk barefoot, okay? Remove those shoes, stand or walk, on, uh, walk barefoot on the ground, a garden or grass daily because this has to be done every day. What does it do? This connects us to the earth's natural healing energy. Earth is having tremendous healing energy in it itself. So when we connect to the earth, it is imparted to us. There are so many scientific experiments recently which have been proving this again and again. Okay, This has been found to reduce inflammation, pain and stress and also it improves blood flow, gives you good sleep, and vitality. So make it a point to do this every single day, earthing or grounding. You remember, no? Without shoes or chapels, barefoot, stand or walk on the ground, garden or grass daily. And the last, meditating with awareness can also be a truly grounding experience. So this is what we'll be doing in my next presentation. So understand the importance of earth element in your body. Okay, so bye for now. Namaste. Awesome.